Hey everybody, today is Sunday, October 30th, 2022, and we're here in Valley, Pennsylvania to take a look at something pretty cool that one of you guys actually suggested and requested I come out here and take a look at. And no, it's not the amazing haunted house across the street. Look at that. That is a rundown abandoned house that I've actually never noticed before right there. That is so cool. And of course, as we all know, if a house is run down and abandoned, that means it must be because it's haunted. That is so cool. Again, I've never actually noticed that house before, but we are not out here to take a look at that abandoned property. We're here to take a look at a completely different abandoned property. Now, if you're a big fan of roadside architecture, roadside oddities, roadside attractions, this is definitely going to be something that's right up your alley. This is actually something I've wanted to come out here and film for a little while now, but because one of you guys actually suggested I come out here, I figured we had to do it. We are here at the new Pied Piper restaurant. Look at that sign. Tell me that is not amazing. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, the building is up for sale, but that signage alone has me completely sold on this building. That is so cool. That is the kind of signage that would get me to pull over and check a place like this out. I love a good roadside sign. Roadside signage is a big thing for me. Anybody can put a pole with a with a rectangle on it, just saying the name of the restaurant. But that, that is something more. Look at that. Looks like a castle with the spire. That is so cool. And if you like the sign, you're definitely going to love the restaurant because it is themed the exact same way. Take a look at this. A somewhat castle themed restaurant. How cool is that with the spire? There's actually one on the other side as well. That is amazing. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this place had always looked like this or if the spires were put on back in, I believe, 2007 when the new Pied Piper restaurant opened up. I do not know. I'm not sure. My brain wants to tell me that it always looked like this because I've been driving down this road since ever since I was a little kid for many, 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 many years. I've driven down this road and I could swear the building has always looked like this. But as we all know, as I've said before, the mind sometimes plays tricks on you. And I could be just only thinking back as far as 2007. Maybe this building did not look like this before 2007. I don't know. So if you're actually from the Valley, Pennsylvania area, and you remember as to whether or not this building always had these amazing spires on it, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you remember. Did it always look like this? Or was this something the Pied Piper restaurant did back in, I believe, 2007 when they opened up? Because the Pied Piper restaurant actually was in a different town. And then in 2007, they moved into this location. But I don't know if they moved into the location and put the spires up or if they moved into this location and it had always looked like this. I'm not entirely sure, but this is pretty awesome. Again, abandoned. Nobody's been in here for the last two years now. Shut down in 2020 from what I was reading. But what's really awesome about this, what I wanna show you guys is what the inside of this place actually looks like. Because look at that. I don't know if you guys can actually see inside there, but there are placemats still on the tables. There's salt and pepper and sugar out there. There are menus on the table. This table here actually still has a calculator on it. It looks like this place was just shut down one day. One day they had patrons in here, they were serving food. And the next day, they were just not open anymore, which is really crazy. When it comes to abandoned places, I love abandoned places that look like they were just shut down one day. One day they went from being open, the next day closed. No, no big closure, no, let's get rid of everything, let's take everything out of here because we're closing down. We know we're closing down. This looks like they had no idea they were actually going to be closing this location. It just randomly happened one day inside there. There's actually a claw game inside there. There is what looks to be a functioning claw game with actual stuffed animals still inside it. The Pied Piper Diner delivered with Grubhub. Not anymore, unfortunately. That is crazy. Again, all kinds of menus, salt and pepper and sugar and whatnot, placemats on the table. There's actually a buffet back there pretty crazy. So again, I believe this place actually shut down in 2020. And from what I heard, it could be because of one of two reasons. So the first reason that I heard as to why this place shut down, and this might be the actual legitimate reason, I'm not entirely sure, 
but apparently in, in 2020, they shut down due to COVID, unfortunately. A lot of restaurants in this area were hit pretty hard and shut down because of COVID because they were no longer able to serve food. They no longer had patrons coming inside and eating food. And as such, they couldn't continue to pay their bills and whatnots or their, their lease or whatever they had to pay for. They were not able to pay for that anymore and they had to shut down. Happened to a lot of restaurants in the area, unfortunately, due to COVID. Back in, into 2020, into 2021, many restaurants in this area did unfortunately shut down. So that's one reason why I heard this place shut down but then after digging up a little bit more research, look at that. What is that? That's crazy. So anyway, after digging up a little bit more research, I found out that in March, yes, the same time COVID hit, in March of 2020, this place was actually hit with a bunch of food violations, bunch of, a bunch of code violations, apparently things like, um, like, like health code violations, apparently a bunch of things like um, uh, potatoes, peeled potatoes being stored directly on the ground and stuff like that, all kinds of nasty food code violations that I read about, unfortunately. So that also happened in March of 2020. So I'm not entirely sure if that was the reason why they shut down for good, or maybe they were just shut down for a little bit. I'm not entirely sure, or if it was because of COVID, I do not know. You can see right inside there, looks like the place at any moment, it looks like the place at any moment could open back up and start serving patrons once again. Like I said, there are actual placemats and salt and pepper and sugar and whatnot on the, on the tables. Looks like one day they just said, we're done. Everybody go home. That is crazy. That is interesting. So an abandoned restaurant here in Bally, Pennsylvania, in the shape of a castle. For whatever reason, now we're gonna walk around the back of the restaurant, because I've actually never seen this. I love exploring. I figured, why not walk around the back? I don't wanna know what's inside that bag there, because there's all kinds of bugs flying around it. Who, who knows what is inside that? I don't wanna know. Look at this, there's a basement over here. Ooh. All kinds of trash and stuff thrown down there as well. Again, we're not gonna go down there because I don't wanna be digging through an old restaurant's trash. A restaurant that's been closed for two years now. That is the type of trash you do not wanna dig through because who knows what is inside there. And honestly, I don't wanna know what is inside there. But this is cool. So if you guys ever actually ate here at this restaurant, leave a comment down below. I wanna hear your thoughts on the restaurant. Was the food here any good? I heard it was actually pretty good even though Again, there are all those health code violations that have me quite concerned. And if you did eat here, <laughs> I don't know if you're concerned as well about that. I mean, did you get food poisoning? Are you, were you okay? You're, I'm sure you were probably okay. I've heard terror stories about pretty much every restaurant ever. Actually, I dated a girl who was a chef at a lot of local restaurants in this area. She went from restaurant to restaurant to restaurant, and she told me some crazy horror stories and pretty much said if you go to a restaurant whether it's a, a, a restaurant like this a, a big sit-down restaurant like this or just something like Applebee's or even a Burger King or anything like that if you go to if you go to a physical restaurant to eat there's apparently a pretty good chance there's some gross stuff going on behind the scenes from what I was what I was told but did you eat here did you actually eat at the Pied Piper restaurant in Valley Pennsylvania and if he did, what was your experience like? Was the food good? Was the was the service good? Was the was the decor inside pretty awesome? Was it kind of like castle-y, sort of Pied Piper themed inside? I would love to hear your stories about the Pied Piper restaurants. Again, in Bally, Pennsylvania. Kind of shaped sort of like a castle. Not entirely like a castle, but they do have the spires, which are cool. I even love the front area here. That's really neat too. That reminds me of like a like a captain's like like a captain's area on the on like an old ship. Look at that. I think of the old like paddle wheel ships. That's what that looks like to me. That is cool. Who knows? Maybe at one point this is actually themed like a like an old I don't know casino paddle wheel boat. Who knows? That is cool. Either way, this is a fantastic looking restaurant that unfortunately has been out of business for at least two years now. Who knows if they'll ever open back up? And if they do open open back up, will they keep the spires? Will they tear them down? I absolutely hope not. Will the Pied Piper restaurant ever move back? Will it become something else? Only time will tell. Again, it's been about two years now, so it's about time something moves into here. And if you do move, in, move into here, you're good to go. Again, it looks like this place had never actually shut down. Everything inside is still set up and ready for you 
to immediately start serving. But all right, guys, with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys go. But like I said, if you ever actually came out here and enjoyed the Pied Piper restaurants, leave a comment down below. Let me know about your experience here again. Like I said, was the food any good? Was the service good? What was it like inside? Was it as amazing inside as it is outside? Are you worried about the health code violations that apparently they were, they were participating in? Either way, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. But again, I'm gonna let you guys go. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts. Proceeds both from Spreadshirt spread and from Patreon. I always say spread shop. Proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do go to help putting gas in Vanderbilt or inside Pumpkin as we're in today to come out to fun, interesting places like this. So I definitely appreciate it, guys. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys do subscribe or you are subscribed, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Ooh, on spooky Halloween. Yes, tomorrow's Halloween. All right, I'll see you guys then. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Loud cars. All right, see you guys next video. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, bye.